New developments tonight in a workplace shooting in Lafayette. Police there confirm a man shot a woman, then shot himself at the Subaru plant. The woman is being treated at the hospital. The shooter is dead. WRTV's Cornelius Hawker gives us some context about this latest workplace shooting. At least 2 million people every year experience workplace violence, according to the latest numbers from OSHA, which includes physical violence, harassment, intimidation, or other threatening behavior. While experts who research workplace violence say shootings like the one that happened at the Subaru plant are rare, police say they try to be prepared for anything. It can happen in Lafayette. It can happen anywhere, right? I mean, it's, it's one of those things that's incredibly unfortunate, but it's one thing that we prepare for. As in many cases of workplace violence, a woman was the target. She was shot, but is alive. We don't know her condition. The man police believed was the gunman killed himself, and they don't have a motive at this time. Subaru employees who were there are now part of an unfortunate club impacted in some form or another by gun violence. Disappointing that it happened close to home <laughs> and around a lot of people that I care about, but it, the shock wears off after a while. Jenna Goddard, who lives in the Lafayette area, says the Subaru plant shooting is yet another reminder of how things like this can happen anywhere. Something that worries her being a mom. It's something that as a parent you think about every time you go somewhere, if there's something happening downtown or like in Target, <laughs> it could happen. As the investigation into why the shooting happened continues, Jenna hopes our elected leaders see this and decide to act before another business becomes the site of a workplace shooting. We need gun reform. It should be harder to buy a gun than it is to get an apartment or a vehicle. In Lafayette, Cornelius Hawker, WRTV. Well, police are still investigating what exactly led up to today's shooting. Experts say there are warning signs that often go unnoticed that lead up to workplace violence, including drinking heavily, using drugs, unexplained work absences, and change in behavior and depression or withdrawal. The National Safety Council urges all companies to have a plan in place to try to address problems before they turn violent.